Okay class, what we're going to look at today is measuring and marking out of a flat frame construction joint. Now the joint we're going to use today is corner halving. And you can see the two pieces here. Now they've came together. This is what they look like when they've come apart. Now this joint is a good wee joint for creating corners on flat frames. So this could be used for say picture frames, it could be used for the rails on a gate. Uh, it could be used for a door if it's covered in a sheet of material as well. So it's a very simple joint, but what it's trying to do is create more surface area here and here. So there's lots of area for it to glue and that's what gives it its strength. Okay, so what we're going to use today is just these simple pieces of wood here. Now you can see this bit's 20mm thick by 40mm wide. So we're going to take two pieces and this is going to be our joint. We're going to join this together like that. Now, first of all, the most important thing is we're going to have to mark our face and edge. Now, that ensures that we put the wood together the same way every single time. So, as you've shown me before, draw your loop and your edge. Draw your loop and your edge. Now, you're always going to bring these two together so that they're always the same. So, the face up, edges in. Okay? And that way ensures that you're going to get the job done the same way every single time. Okay, now, as you can see from this piece here, this amount has been removed. The same width as the wood we're using. So, as we said earlier, the wood was 40mm wide. So we're going to use this tool here, our tri-square, which is used for marking lines square to an edge. This angle inside here is 90 degrees. Okay. Now this only works if you hold it tightly against the edge. It's got to be tight. Can't be any gaps there. Okay. So, a good way of doing this is if you hold your tri-square there, take your steel rule and slide it back until you get to your size. 40 mil. And a good double check is if you take your other piece of wood and hold it there and it's flush. So if you can see there that the wood is in line with the edge. So that's a good double check. So what we're going to do now, nice sharp pencil, one straight line. Now right away mark your hatching lines or waste wood lines. That makes sure that this is the piece that we're going to take away. Now Get your tri square and again transfer these lines down the side. Okay, now you don't have to go all the way through, you only need to go down just past halfway. Turn it around, it's the exactly the same on the other side. So just down past halfway. Okay, then we need to get the middle, so we need to find the middle of this. Now we know it's 20mm, the wood's 20mm wide. So what we can do is we can take this tool here, which is our marking gauge, and it works by sliding the wood along this side here, and the nail or the spur scratches a mark down the edge. So this tool is used for marking lines parallel to an edge, and it comes in four parts. What we have is the spur, we have the stock, the stem, and the screw or thumb screw. Okay, so spur, stock, stem and screw. A good way to remember is, think of the shape of these things, there's a wee, it's like a wee cube. Right, so I remember it, stock cube. Stem, got the stem of a flower, stem of a plant, long and thin. Spur, obviously the wee sharp spur. And then the screw, which holds it together, is on this side. Okay, now that allows us to slide up and down to whatever size we want. Now we want half our material, which is 10. So, take your steel rule, hold it in tight there, and slowly slide it up until the spur reads 10mm. Tighten, tighten it up, and double check. See if it hasn't moved. Now it's moved slightly, so I can get a wee tap on the desk until it gets to exactly 10. And another double check is if you take your wood and you come from one side, you put a wee dot, 
Okay, so that's 10 mil from this edge. If I turn my marking gauge round and I come in for the other side, and my two dots line up, I know that's in the middle. Okay, so that's another double check. Now, take your marking gauge, and what we're going to do is we're going to slide it along this edge. Okay, now you can practice without the spur in place. Just practice that, sliding it up and down to get used to it. We don't want this, we don't want this. It's got to be smooth along there, okay? So we're only going to go to this point here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the pin and we're going to stick it in there. And that's going to act as a wee stop. So when I gently slide down, it's going to stop in that wee hole. It's not going to go all the way down here and create a big scratch that we're going to have to get rid of later on. So there, there. Turn your wood, always coming from the same face, always coming from the same face every time over the top. Now it's quite difficult to do it on the top, you could put your wood in the vise, I'm just holding it in my hand. But it's more important that you do, do it four or five lightning and try to do it all in the one go with digging in. Right, so gently, again, gently, create a wee scratch line. Now, if you take your pencil and you fill that line in, okay, along the top, Take your time, make sure it goes in the line, not like me. Okay. In the line. In the line. Okay. And again, continue with your hatching or waste wood lines. Now the waste wood lines are there to identify the waste wood so that you're not going to cut the wrong bit off. So that's that. Now you do exactly the same for the other piece. So, here we go, we're going to take this joint out of here, but this time it's going to be on the underside that we're going to take it away. Okay, so turn it over, take your tri-square, make sure it's nice and tight against the edge, take your rule, set it to your 40, double check it with a piece of wood, yeah, that's flush, alright, so that's dead flush, right? mark my line. And again, take your lines down the side, just to slightly over halfway. Same on this side. Okay. Mark your waist. Now this time, as I said, it's not coming out the top, it's coming out the bottom. So we need to make sure we mark the bottom. There's your waist with lines. Okay. Next tool, again, Marking gauge, and again from the same face, scratch your line all the way around. Okay, and again, take your pencil, mark your lines, waste wood lines. Put the joint back the way it's supposed to be. So face and edge, face and edge, and check. There you go. Take the bottom away on one side, take the top away on the other side. They'll then come together, the way I showed you earlier, with the one I've already done earlier, to make your joint. Okay, so that's the corner having joint. And the tools that we used were steel rule, technically a pencil, marking gauge with the stock, stem, spur and screw and a tri-square which we use to mark lines square to an edge.